it's Brooke and today I'm back at you with another thread up goodie box I asked for all jeans in this one so I'm thinking that's what I have but we will have to see I have not looked on the app or anything I did have to extend it a couple days just because it's been a mess down here and I had to clean it up so I could try these on for you I did change my like measurements and sizes more to like a 10 12 instead of an 8 10 and more on the 12 side for jeans so we will see if I got that all changed in time for them to send me this goodie box so we will see and if you don't know about the thread up goodie box it costs ten dollars they pick out ten items i think and they will give you that ten dollars back if you purchase anything otherwise you lose your ten dollars it just costs you ten dollars and it's free shipping both ways i haven't had the best of luck with these goodie boxes i think i've found one shirt so far but otherwise like i had an all dresses one i had an all like long tops one those are both a bust maybe we'll find a jean i do need some new pairs of jeans my jeans are an eight i'm more of a 12 now so hopefully there's something in here if things are too small and I can't get them buttoned you probably won't see the try on of that but hopefully there's a few in here that I can get around my big butt and you'll get to see so first we're gonna go through it and then we'll do the try on so I opened the box this is what it looks like it had the price sheet and the return stamp to send it back because you just put it back in the box so we are going to pull this off. Oh, it looks like I do have a top. Looks like one top, two tops, and the rest are pants. So we're going to go through them. I'm not going to look at prices until the end. So let's just start grabbing in. How about? First off, we have an American Eagle Outfitters little sweater. And it looks like it's a size medium. And it is one of those definitely like see-through kind of sweaters. So that's not bad. It's a cute like taupey brown light brown color. That's cute. I maybe don't like the see-throughness of it. But that is cute. I'm going to grab the other top just so... We'll do the tops right off the bat. And this is a fever size medium. Oh, it's like, <laughs> it's a cardigan, but like fancy on the bottom. Oh, it's just in the back. So it has like this chiffon, like pleated kind of fabric. And then it's the same kind of taupey color. Well, that's kind of fancy, isn't it? We'll put that over there. Okay, so let's start with the pants. So these are Banana Republic. They're a trouser jean. There's 30 waist size 10. They do have some definite stretch and I think when I was extending my time I did kind of see that they sent me something Banana Republic. So they just have the trouser pockets, just the little pockets in the back. It has like the snap or the slide closure and then they look more like a flare or a boot cut down at the bottom those are super dark and a little dressy so probably not what i'm looking for but of course we'll try them on and then this is ink denim this is a skinny leg regular fit size 10 ink is international concepts and this has some definite stretch wow these are all super dark i'm not really into the skinny jean anymore i'm more of a mom jean or just a little more relaxed so we will see about those but they do have some definite stretch in them they all seem very dark wash i don't know if i i said any wash so so these are kelvin klein jeans size 12 and these look more like a straight fit maybe a little boot cut and they're again that like thinner like stretchy kind of material super dark i used to wear kelvin klein's in high school all the time because those were the only ones that i could find that were long enough because i didn't make a lot of long jeans back then okay so the next pile i have a pair of lucky jeans size 30 32 these are already going to be too short i need at least like a 36 usually 34 at least slim straight and these are brand new with tags i do like the color of these i like the slim straight the rise doesn't look very high these are probably going to be pretty short on me so we have another pair they're the lrl jeans um lauren jeans cold so ralph ralph lauren 10 size 10 
Doesn't say anything about their fit. They look just like a straight jean. Feel like they have a little bit of stretch in them. So pretty standard pair of jeans. The next one we have are the Old Navy Boyfriend Straight Jeans in a size 12. These aren't bad. Looks like they have a little like cut here at the hem. Slightly tapered leg. I like the wash of those. Two more. Um, the next one here is the Premier. It's a skinny straight and it's a size 29 regular. So, unless these run big. Then they have little fancy things on the pocket. Definitely straight and a little skinny. And then, oh, so we have the Gap. 1969, always skinny, 30 tall, it says on these, it has a T. I used to wear Gap jeans all the time in college and after college. They were, I don't think, I don't know if they were flare or blue cut, but these are definitely like a skinny jean. Some stretch in them, very dark wash. Okay, so I'll probably keep on my t-shirt and try the shirts on Last, I might lower you down so you can see the pants better, but we'll see. We'll see how many you actually get to see <laughs> if I can button them. And let's get to it. So I'm gonna start where we started. So these are the Banana Republic trouser jeans and they fit in the waist. My belly button is right there at the top, but man, is it tight right here in my thighs. I don't know if you can tell that. And then I back up a little bit. They cut me like right at the top of the foot. So they're none too long. For a flare jean, I might maybe want it just a tad longer, but wow, those are tight in the thighs. But the waist isn't bad, um, other than wow, like right here in the butt, just tight. So, as I thought, these are going to be a no, but they surprisingly don't fit awful. So, that's a nice thing. So, the heavies, if you're looking for them, and you have a little smaller thighs than I do. These are the Calvin Klein jeans. The international concepts were a no-go. These, once again, really thick in the thighs and the behind. Then I have a pretty good gap kind of back here and there. Below my belly button, so yeah. These are no go, kind of short in a not good way, I would say. They're a nice jean though. They feel nice, they're just, yeah, super tight, but then like weirdly sized in the waist for me. Well, that's all the jeans you get. I put back on the Banana Republic trouser jeans just because these ones fit me the best. The rest of them I either couldn't get up my calf or I couldn't get up my thigh. So yeah, I thought I specified no skinny jeans, but I know this shirt, I wouldn't wear under this, but I'm not going upstairs. This is what I got. The sleeves are tight, the shoulders are tight, but like if I had a workwear like this sweater and these jeans, like that's a cute little outfit if you just had on like a white little cami or something. But look at the fun back on this. But yeah, the sleeves are really tight on me and it's tight in the shoulders, but yeah, this would be a cute little look with these trouser jeans. So not bad on this. So I have one saving grace, that American Eagle see-through sweater, which I'm tempted to put this on with it, but we'll see. I might just, it might just be a little see-through, but yeah. No go on the jeans, which I was kind of thinking after I tried on some new ones I bought. So here's the sweater. It's extremely see-through. Has kind of a boat neck on it, but I think it might just be because the sleeves are tight and I'm a little sweaty, so they're pulling it funny. But sleeves definitely aren't long enough. It is a little shorter. You would definitely have to wear something under it. There we go. Because, yeah, you can, you can see everything. I'm backing up. You can see everything, but... I think Brooke is off the goodie box train. She has, for a thread up, I have way too many issues with that. Let's do the recap and I'll let you know the prices of everything. So I have my pile of clothes here. So first off, the Banana Republic jeans are estimated retail is $95. They're selling them for $16.99, which is not a bad price in my opinion. The Women's American Eagle Pullover, they say $50 and they're selling it for $22.99. 
which that's not a bad little thing if it fits you. The women's Adriana gold gold shimmy jeans are 167. I don't know which ones those are. Women's Fever Cardigan was $74, and they're selling it for $17.99. Like I said, that was cute with those trousers if, you know, it fit you properly. Women's Ink Denim, which these did not fit, $71, and they're selling them for $16.99. And then the Women's Old Navy Jeans, which I thought Old Navy would come through with me in. That was a oh hell no. They have $30 and then they're selling them for $16.99. And then the Kelvin Klein jeans. Oh, here's the, there's the, okay. The Kelvin Klein jeans, they have 60 on them and they're selling them for $17.99. Yeah, and these were super tight. The Gap jeans, they have 80 and they're selling them for $24.99. So here's the Gap jeans. I was hoping with these, but with the skinny fit, it was just a no-go. And then the Lucky Brand jeans are, with the tags on them, are $109 and they're selling them for $31.99. So that's a pretty good price for a... Lucky Brand jeans. And then the Lauren jeans are $71 and they're selling them for $31.99. Which you think those would be cheaper if the Lucky or New it takes? What do I know? And then this was the Adriana Goldschmied. These are the, the premier ones. And then these are, they say retail for $167 and they're selling them for one or $31.99. Uh, okay, I mean that's not a bad price, but 167. I don't know who Adriana Goldschmidt is. You'll have to let me know if you know who that is. Ooh. So th there is my jeans goodie box, and it was a big, <clears throat> which is partially my fault. I should have maybe sized up more, said like a 12, 14 instead of like a 10, 12. So. They're not completely to blame, but I just don't have the best of luck with these goodie boxes. I was looking on there just at clothes myself, so maybe that's a better route for me. I have tried that before and didn't have a lot of luck, and then I tried to return them and that was not a good time. So if you do buy things and return them and just get thread up credit, I think it's a lot better. Otherwise, they charge you a restocking fee and shipping and everything like that. I did order... um a send it back label where I can donate things to them or consign things with them. It says it takes up to 12 weeks right now just because they're so busy. So I think I'm gonna get together a box of like jeans and sweaters because by the time they get to it, it'll be what? Um, December, it'll be like in the middle of winter. So then that'll be more things they wanna sell. They do take boys and girls clothes too. So I might do that. And you can either order a bag or you can just use any box you have and they'll send you a label. And then you just tape the label right on. I do have a refer a friends code that anybody can give, get on thread up. So it like gives you 10 and gives me 10, I think. I'll put that down below. It's not, I'm not sponsored, anything like that. I think they would want to sponsor me. I'm not a very good, a good person for them because nothing ever fits me. But I might do another one where I just find, look for things because I did find a couple things on there and I'm getting to know my sizes better and everything and kind of what I like a little better. But I was just looking for some jeans. I have found some, of course, at American Eagle and one Wild Fable Fair. So I'm going to do kind of a fall outfits video for you. So watch for that coming out. But otherwise, thanks for watching me not try on any jeans. <laughs> and hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.